Happy Wednesday, ladies. It is Victor Vanico Johnson coming to you again with my Wealthy Wednesday tip for the When Women Heal group on Facebook. So I really wanted to talk today about five things that you can do to increase your odds of getting approval for business financing. So we're seeing that right now, not only women, but also women of color are leading the charge on entrepreneurism. And you all are out here starting businesses left and right. You're outpacing not only men, but other um, non-black races out there for starting businesses. There is one downside to it though. Uh, as we see women businesses, unfortunately, women of color, the businesses, there are statistics out there from the Small Business Administration from last year and the year before that, that show that uh, women of color that own businesses typically are almost $100,000 less in annual revenue versus their non-color counterparts. So what does that mean? Women that are out there starting businesses that are of color, they're not generating as much as women that are starting businesses that are of other races, white women per particularly. And what is the reason for that? Well, many of those women that are of the non black or non-color persuasion, they are starting companies such as uh, CPA accounting firms. Some of them are attorney firms. Uh, many of them start their own medical or dental practices. Whereas the statistics show that women of color or non-white women business owners are opening businesses that are usually in the service industries, restaurants, uh, childcare, even hair and nail salons which are great successful businesses, but they don't generate the same kind of revenue that accounting or real estate or even medical uh, businesses would be able to generate. So I wanna spend some time today to talk about five things that you all can do to increase your odds of getting additional business financing, which will help you to scale and grow your business. So let's dig into it. I'm gonna share my screen and jump right into a slide here. And I appreciate your patience. We're gonna start from the current slide. Okay, so hopefully everyone can see that. You see my website at the bottom if you want more information, but there are five C's needed to acquire business financing. So we'll jump into it. The very first C is actually 1A and 1B. So C is credit and C is character. Well, you all know credit will come into play. And right now I'm talking about your personal credit scores. And typically, what puts you in the best opportunity for approval for business financing is when your FICO credit score is over 680. Now there is a difference between Credit Karma and Credit Wise and a lot of the other free credit reports that you're getting. Those are typically produced by the Vantage scoring model. And I'll have time today to go into the variations of the differences between FICO and Vantage, but I will tell you that 90% of lenders out there which are banks and even some private lenders are looking at your FICO score to determine whether or not you are a strong enough candidate or applicant to get additional financing. So that's the credit piece. And now over the next several weeks, I'll talk more in depth about things you can do to improve your personal credit scores. Also, the character aspect is more related to your social media. Yeah, how do you show up in the world online? When they do a search for your name or your business name, is it gonna show consistency that you are looking to help the community, you're building, you're focused on your business, or is it gonna be a lot of rah-rah, talking about people, uh, complaining about things? Those are character references. And it may not seem fair that they look at your social media to determine whether or not you're messy or not, but they are. And so it's always a good idea, maybe separate, have a business page and a personal page, or just be on the up and up with all your pages. You know, remember that the stuff you put online is pretty much infinite and it will always be there. So even if the person you are today becomes a different person 10 years from now, somebody could dig up this information on you. So remember your character is in a, a huge part of the determination of your loan. Secondly is collateral. Do you already have collateral that you can put forth that has value in the event of your inability to make the payments? Well, maybe you projected to generate X dollars per month in revenue, and of that revenue, you were gonna be making payments towards your business financing. Well, if your business starts off slow, 
the bank wants to know that you have other collateral that could cover this loan in the event of you not paying the, the note. So collateral will be like houses, equipment, inventory. If you have cars that are paid for where you have the title to the car, those all count towards your collateral. Next is capital. How much money do you have? Or how much money have you invested? So when we're talking about business financing, the banks are always gonna look at all of your bank accounts and see how much cash can you liquidate. And this would include money in a 401k because you can literally cash that out. But typically it would be IRA money, money uh, that's physically cash in a bank, that type of savings account. And so you wanna have about six months of reserves in the bank. What is a reserve? The reserve is the amount that you estimate that the loan would be. So if you got a, a $5,000 loan per se, and let's say your note was $250, you know, these are hypothetical numbers, but you would need to have $250 times six available in your account. So that would be about $1,500 that they could say, okay, she's got, or he's got six months worth of payments available in the bank account. So you want to have some capital as well. Number four is your capacity. How much is your monthly expenses compared to your monthly income? So using round numbers, if you bring in $1,000 per month, but your rent, car note, insurance, uh, health insurance, daycare, and utilities all equate to $700 a month, then your capacity is 70% of that $1,000 income. Well, the lenders are looking at, can you keep your static expenses or your regular monthly expenses under 39% of your income? So how do you make that number better? Well, increase the dollars coming in. So sometimes that may mean including a cosigner who has other revenue coming in, but it also means reducing your, your expenses every month. So if you've got you know, uh, utilities that are, you know, two, three hundred dollars a month, you got to bring those down if you have the ability to do so. Or if you've got loans out there, maybe try to knock out that loan before you approach the new bank to get business financing. And then the last one is the conditions related to your business. So are you in an industry that may suggest a slowdown in the next six months, 12 months, five years? The bank wants to look at your industry and see the trends that are happening. And if you're in an industry that is slowly starting to taper off, that would be a, a red flag for them. And they may not, even with these other categories strong, they may still decline you of that loan or reduce the amount they give you because it's a risk. You might be out of business in a few years. If you're in a business like, you know, I don't know, let's think about the person that was starting an Airbnb business in January. Well, come March, and April, with shelter in place across the nation, they weren't able to utilize their house to rent out to people, at least not on a consistent basis. The company of Airbnb even took a hit. So that would be an industry that they'll probably study before they start loaning money to somebody who's looking to go buy more houses to do more Airbnb. On the flip side, if you have a company that supports video conferencing, like this type of video conference here, you might be in a better industry. They're gonna see this trend continuing to go up with this whole COVID-19 stuff. And even after that, people will be doing more of these type of meetings. So you would support an industry that is continuing to grow. So always be aware of your conditions of your industry and of course, any safety hazards. That's all I got for you today. That's been probably about eight or nine minutes. I hope that's not too long. If you have more questions about how you can get approval for business financing, or even if you have questions about your personal credit, reach out to me. I'm looking forward to next Wednesday. Have a great, successful week, ladies.